Hi guys, in the previous lecture we have seen the response of LC circuit with DC excitation and we got the following voltage and current across the capacitor and inductor that is equal to Vc of T is equal to Vs 1 minus cos omega naught T plus Vc naught cos omega naught T where omega naught is equal to 1 by under root LC. Similarly, we got IL of T that is equal to under root C by L Vs minus Vc naught sin omega naught T where Vc naught is the initial voltage across capacitor. After that, we take two cases. First one is a zero initial condition and second is a source free circuit. In zero initial condition, we put Vc naught is equal to zero and found Vc of T and IL of T for LC circuit. And similarly for source free circuit, we put Vs is equal to zero and initial voltage across capacitor that is equal to Vc naught and found Vc of T and V IL of T, right? Now in this lecture, what we will do, we will insert diode with LC circuit and we will see with zero initial condition, with initial condition and discharging diode LC circuit. So we will see these all three cases. Okay. Let us proceed to the first. In the first case, what I am doing, I am taking diode LC circuit with zero initial condition. What do you mean by zero initial condition? Zero initial condition means I am taking initial voltage across capacitor that is equal to VC naught is equal to zero. Okay, and I am attaching one diode and I am closing the switch at T is equal to zero. So if I will close this switch at T is equal to zero, then this diode will be in forward bias because the positive terminal of this supply voltage is connected with anode. So this diode will be forward biased and it will get sorted. So once it will get sorted, then it will behave like the same circuit which we have seen in previous lecture and we got Vc of T, IL of T. So we have already de derived the formula of Vc of T and IL of T when this diode will be in forward bias in previous lecture that is given by Vc of T is equal to Vs 1 minus cos omega naught T and IL of T is equal to Vs under root C by L sin omega naught T because Vc naught initial voltage across capacitor is zero. So if I will plot Vc of T and IL of T, then I will get something like this. This is Vc of T is equal to Vs 1 minus cos omega naught T. This is same as this waveform. Okay. Now find VL of T voltage across inductor. VL of T will be LDI upon DT. Okay. So if I will differentiate this IL of T with respect to time, then I will get VL of T that is equal to Vs cos omega naught T. Okay. Same equation that we have derived in previous lecture. Only the concept is when this diode is forward biased, then I will get Vc of T, IL of T and VL of T. Okay. Now see here the capacitor current or inductor of current that is derived that is equal to IL of T is equal to Vs under root C by L sin omega naught T. This is the sinusoidal function. So what I am getting, I am getting current IL of T is something like this. Okay. So after pi, the current is going to be negative that means the current is going to be reverse since here the diode is connected see here the diode is connected so current the direction of current will not get reversed at any case the direction of current will always flow from left to right it will not go from right to left because in that case the diode will be reverse bias so this is circuit the current you will get in this circuit only till pi after pi the current is going to be reverse so you won't get current because of this diode right so current i am getting il of t only up to pi value see the waveform the current is equal to vs under root c by l sin omega naught t and i am getting current only up to pi and the maximum current is equal to vs under root c by l got it now see at omega naught t is equal to zero vc of zero will be 0 put omega naught t is equal to 0 cos 0 is equal to 1 1 minus 1 vc of 0 will be 0 il of 0 will be 0 and vl of 0 is equal to cos omega cos 0 is equal to 1 vl of 0 will be vs okay so see at t is equal to 0 i am getting only the voltage across inductor that is equal to vs rest all the voltage will be 0 now see here since the circuit and uh, the current i am getting uh, till pi means diode will conduct only till pi so once the diode will conduct till pi means before pi the diode will behave like a short circuit okay so voltage across uh, the voltage drop across this diode will be 0 4 0 to pi got it now see at omega naught t is equal to pi 
at omega naught t is equal to pi the vc of pi will be c omega naught put omega naught t is equal to pi you will get vc of pi will be 2 vs vl of pi will be minus vs and il of pi will be zero so we are getting vc of pi is equal to 2 vs and voltage across inductor will be minus vs now see another case that is the at omega t is equal to pi plus what will happen after pi since after pi the current is going to be reverse so this diode will go into the reverse bias and it won't conduct and it will behave like a open circuit so once this diode will behave like an open circuit then all the voltage will drop across this diode right so voltage drop across the di diode is nothing but if you will apply kvl then you will get vs minus vc minus vl okay and after pi plus since inductor current is zero so voltage across inductor will be zero and you are getting only the voltage across capacitor after pi that is equal to 2 vs right so vd will be vs minus vc will be 2 vs minus vl vl after pi will be zero because inductor current is zero so ldi by ldil upon dt will be zero right so i am getting voltage across diode will be minus of vs so voltage across diode is nothing but minus of vs after pi got it so after pi this is pi after pi the voltage across diode will be minus vs so if i'll ask you what is the peak inverse voltage of diode the peak inverse voltage will be vs remember peak inverse voltage is always taken as positive because the negative is already considered in its name that is peak inverse so if i am talking about inverse voltage so always take the voltage across diode as positive so peak inverse voltage will be vs okay so these are the response you will get in diode lc circuit when initial voltage across capacitor that is vc naught is equal to zero you will get the waveform of il of t vl of t and vc of t and vd at like this only okay so you have to remember these point first point is at a steady state at a steady state means when the current goes to zero then what is the voltage drop across capacitor vc will be 2 vs right and what is the peak inverse voltage that is equal to vs you have to remember these two things okay whenever you will get the diode lc circuit with zero initial condition then you will be asked what is the voltage drop across capacitor at a steady state then you must know since it is zero initial condition case so at a steady state the vc will be 2 vs and peak inverse voltage will be vs got it now let us see the next case that is diode lc circuit with initial condition with initial condition means initially the voltage across capacitor is v naught this is equal to vc naught okay so when you will close the switch at t is equal to zero then what will happen this diode will be in forward bias and it will start conducting and the voltage drop across this, this diode will be zero it is replaced by short circuit so once it is replaced by short circuit then it will behave like diode lc circuit with dc excitation in which we have already found the vc of t and il of t that is given by vc of t is equal to vs into 1 minus cos omega naught t plus v naught cos omega naught t where v naught is the initial voltage across capacitor i am taking the case with initial condition so initial voltage across capacitor is v naught and i am considering that v naught is less than vs if v naught is less than vs then only it will be in forward bias this diode will be in forward bias only when when v naught is less than vs this is the v naught okay so vc of t i am getting like this similarly the il of t put vc naught is equal to v naught in the previous equation you will get il of t and vc of t like this okay so vc of t will be somehow like this il of t will be like this and vl of t i can derive ldi by dt is equal to vs minus v naught sin omega naught t now here also same concept is applied this diode will conduct only when the current will be positive since the il of t is sinusoidal so after pi it will goes into the negative so this diode won't allow the negative current to flow the current is always flow from left to right il of t it will never be in negative direction okay so you will get current il of t till pi only so il of t i am getting like this and the maximum current in the circuit will be under root c by l vs minus v naught 
Similarly, VL of T I can draw, Vs minus V0 sin omega naught T and after pi, the voltage across inductor will be 0 since we are not getting current. So, L di by dt is equal to 0. Hence, the voltage across inductor will be 0. Now, coming to the Vc of T. The Vc of T is Vs 1 minus cos omega naught T plus V0 cos omega naught T. Find Vc of T at omega naught T is equal to 0. So, at omega naught T is equal to 0, the Vc of T that is Vc of 0 will be only the initial voltage across capacitor that is equal to V0 and at omega naught T is equal to pi put omega naught T is equal to pi you will get Vc of pi will be 2 Vs minus V0 where V0 is the initial voltage across capacitor. So at a steady state I am getting voltage across capacitor will be 2 Vs minus V0 got it. Now voltage across diode since the current I am getting only till pi. So, diode will be sorted from 0 to pi and after pi it will be open circuit. So, voltage across diode after pi will be Vs minus Vc minus Vl. This equation is valid for all the cases means with zero initial condition, with initial condition and discharging LC circuit. So, voltage across diode apply KVL you will get Vs minus Vc minus Vl. So, after pi Vs will be Vs after pi the voltage across capacitor is nothing but 2 Vs minus V0 and it will go like this. So, it will be 2 Vs minus V0 okay and after pi the voltage across inductor will be 0 because the current is 0. So, Vl will be 0. So, finally I am getting minus of Vs minus V0. So, voltage across diode it will be minus of Vs minus V0 hence peak inverse voltage will be Vs minus V0. Peak inverse voltage is always taken as positive. So, what you have to remember in this condition? You have to remember two things that is at a steady state the voltage across capacitor will be Vc will be 2 Vs minus V0 and peak inverse voltage will be Vs minus V0. See here with respect to previous case in the previous case the voltage across capacitor at a steady state I was getting 2 Vs and peak inverse Vs but here it is subtracted by minus V0 means initially voltage across capacitor is V0. So, it is subtracted by minus V0. So, we can say that the voltage across capacitor is decreases if initial condition is considered. This is the difference between without initial condition and with initial condition. Also, there is one difference also at T is equal to 0 the voltage across capacitor is nothing but V0. Right. So, initially the voltage across capacitor is non-zero with by taking initial condition. Only you have to remember these two things. Okay. Now see the last case that is the discharging diode LC circuit. What I am doing initially the voltage I am charging this uh, capacitor up to Vs. Okay. So what will be the Vc naught? Vc naught will be Vs. And then I am inserting diode and I am closing the switch at T is equal to 0. So when I am closing the switch at T is equal to 0 then this capacitor will discharge across this inductor. This diode will be in forward bias. So, once this diode sorted then this capacitor will charge the inductor and again this inductor will behave like a current source and it will again charge this capacitor with negative polarity that is from plus to minus like this. Initially it was from plus to minus and finally when inductor will give energy to capacitor then the capacitor will charge from minus to plus like this. Okay. So, once the polarity of this voltage across capacitor will get reversed then this diode will be open circuited. So, what I have to do? I have already found Vc of t and Il of t in the previous lecture. So, put Vs is equal to 0 means supply voltage is equal to 0 in, this, in that equation you will get Vc of t and Il of t. Okay. So, where I am, I am having equation this, this is the equation. So, put Vs is equal to 0 in Vc of t and Il of t I, I will get the equation for discharging LC circuit right. Also the initial voltage across capacitor I am taking Vs as a Vs. So, what I will get I will get Vc of t is equal to Vs cos omega naught t and Il of t I will get Vs under root C by L sin omega naught t. By this equation I have told you I by this equation I will get Il of t in negative. Why? I have explained you in the previous lecture why IL of T I am getting in negative but here I am considering the direction of current IL of T like this so IL of T I will get positive okay. If you want to understand this concept then go to previous lecture and watch last 5 minutes of that lecture you will understand why IL of T will be positive. 
So a VC of t will be Vs cos omega naught t and IL of t is equal to Vs sin omega naught t where Vs is equal to initial voltage across capacitor. Do not get confused. Vs is the initial voltage across capacitor not the supply voltage. I have to put Vs, Vs this is the supply voltage. Right. So for Vc of t and IL of t I am getting like this. So what will be the VL of t? VL of t will be L di by dt. So differentiate IL of t you will get VL of t that is equal to Vs cos omega naught t. Now again same concept since this diode is connected in discharging LC circuit. So IL of t is sinusoidal. So you will get current only till pi. After pi the current get reversed. So this diode won't allow the reverse current. So current I am getting only till pi and the maximum current I will get that is equal to Vs under root C by L. Similarly, I can find VL of t. The VL of t is the cosine wave. So VL of t will be somehow like this. This is the pi. And here the VC of t is also Vs cos omega naught t cosine wave. So VC of t will be somehow like this. And after pi, this diode will be open circuited. Right? It will be somehow like this. Okay? And the after pi, the polarity of capacitor voltage will get reversed. Okay? So polarity will be somehow like this. PS. And after pi, the voltage across inductor will be zero since current is zero. So voltage across inductor will be zero. So after pi, what is the voltage across diode? The voltage across diode will be apply KVL here plus VD plus VS is equal to zero. So voltage across diode will be minus VS. And what is the voltage across capacitor that is equal to minus Vs. So after pi you will get voltage across capacitor is equal to minus Vs and voltage across diode will be minus Vs. So what will be the peak inverse voltage? Peak inverse voltage is always positive that is equal to Vs. So what do you have to keep in mind? You have to keep in mind the two things that is at a steady state the voltage across capacitor will be minus Vs and peak inverse voltage will be Vs. So these two points you should keep in mind. So that's all about this lecture. In the next lecture, we will see the Fourier series that is how to find the Fourier series of different periodic non-sinusoidal waveform. So if you guys understood the concept, then please like this video and share with your juniors. For doubt solving, you can join our Facebook group.